Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a fashion overhaul of all my favourite things I've been wearing post-op. I'm totally aware that the background is a little bit weird but I am still three weeks post-op so I'm unable to sit down as yet. You can't actually sit down until week six. It's gonna have to bear with me <laughs> filming at about couch right today. So Obviously, post-op outfits are really difficult. To be honest, up until a few days ago, I haven't been really wearing very many cute outfits. I think I just ordered like three or four different matching Fashion Nova tracksuits just so I could team them with Balenciagas and some cute sunnies and try and feel as cute as I could because obviously I am still wearing my binder and my leggings. So this does stick out quite a bit. I've got like half an outfit on, good one. Um, this is of course from Fashion Nova as well. I know how much I love this stuff. It's always such a good price point and you can always get such a huge range of stuff that you can wear with different outfits and that's something I really love because I don't like having too many items that don't go with one another in my closet. It's driving me. So she's in such a crazy mood because it's raining and she can't go play. Bird kitten. Bird kitten. What I decided to do is get some really cute pieces from Fashion Nova which are really stretchy. So it's not putting any pressure on my butt at all. Comfortable for me to wear. Minimal zips and stuff like that so it's not going to put any dents into my torso or anything. I wanted to share with you my favourite pieces that I have got. A few of them didn't really work out for me. They're a bit too tight on my butt and stuff. But the rest of them are amazing. So I'll show you which ones are my favourite and my least favourite. Starting off, I got this cute little striped dress. Originally, I actually wanted to get this for Bora Bora. Um, it is obviously coming to winter here and I just have holiday on my mind. <laughs> this one is perfect because it is a lot of stretch. So it's something that's really cool because you can team it over a bikini and stuff. You could dress it up if you wanted. These cute little wedges to team with them. And I also got like a little tan hat. And my order I placed yesterday. So I just wanted to go all out and have a really cute summer kind of vibe outfit. As you can see, it fits pretty well. Um, I am really stuck on sizing right now, now I'm post op because I'm kind of the same size, but the proportions are a little bit different. So just for reference, I typically get a medium in Fashion Nova, large in bikini tops. My last order. I'm struggling a little bit because I feel like my waist has gotten a little bit smaller so I almost need to get a small in dresses but at the same time like mentally I can't bring myself to buying a small because I've always bought mediums and because obviously my butt's a bit wider now so I'm like girl how's that gonna fit so next time I think I will try out their Fashion Nova Curve I've heard really good things about them it's really cool because they go from really small sizing with Fashion Nova Curve right up to like extra extra large so it's really cool they cater for everybody um, this is definitely going to be a go-to, not only for my holidays, but throughout all of summer, as is everything. Like the little flared arms, too flared that you look like an absolute wombat, but the fit of it is so cute. I'm not usually much of a play suit person, but Josh loves them, so I was kind of like, oh, it'll be cute that we're going on like a little romantic trip to Bora Bora. I'll take some cute little play suits, so I thought it'll be really nice to get a white play suit for like cute little brunches and stuff. Got these little shoes from them as well. Just so you've got like a little bit of height. A little bit of gold coloring through there. But they're comfy. And I also got, I love this bag so much. It's so cute. I didn't realize it was quite so small and I was a bit like, oh, it's really little. And then Josh was like, oh. It's about the same size as your dual bag. That's perfect because you can just put your phone in it, your sunnies, a bit of money or your card and you've got your island day packed. Maybe shove some sunblock in there and you're ready to go. So now I'm really happy with it. It also has a really long strap as well. As the material, there's a pro and a con to this. I feel like it'll be really comfortable on your skin but also if you've tucked in your bag and that's, it's a bit like, yeah. I guess if you, just have it hanging in your closet and maybe put something in it, it'd end up being straight again. But for me personally, I actually like holding bags just over the wrists like this. So I'm probably just gonna wear it like that. But how cute does it look with the blazers? I'm so excited to wear that, you have no idea. Next up we have this cute little skirt, which actually came with the top as well. And the cat stole it. And I don't know where it is and it's pissing me off something tragic. So 
So I love this skirt. This is in size medium as well. I actually just teamed it with a little crop sleeve shirt, which has little buttons down the front of it just to dress it down a little bit. I actually have a photo that I have on my Instagram. I'll put it up here. I teamed it with a shiny black bodysuit from them. I'm not sure if they still sell it though, so don't quote me on that. But as you can see, the skirt, you can both dress up and down, which I absolutely love. It's really comfy. I think I probably could have gone for a small, but again, well, it's a very comfy skirt and I love it. This jumpsuit, I wasn't going to include because I've actually had it... Oh my god, how long have I had this for? Probably six or seven months. Fun story about this, this jumpsuit is I took it to Bali. I left it there. I was very fucking upset. I went back on Fashion Nova. They had it in stock again. I wasn't going to include it today. It's still in stock. So I had to show you guys this because the shape of it, I don't know, I just love it so much. It's a cool beach club outfit. This is what I originally got it for, but now I'm like, I've worn it to dinner, I've worn it to drinks, I've worn it to beach clubs, I've worn it to the beach. It's just so comfy and the material's really thin, it's so good. Um, the only thing I would probably say is because it is really thin material, it's awesome for summer and it's really good for kind of keeping you cool, but at the same time, I feel like you do need nipple covers with it. As you can see, you can see my nipples through it, which I know a lot of people don't really mind. If I are a person that does mind about it, I'd definitely suggest some of the nipple covers from Fashion Nova. They're not actually silicone ones, but they have these really cool lace beige ones, which are just reusable ones. You can just stick them on your boobs. Um, to be honest, I end up leaving them on for like, a couple of days depending on what I'm doing because they stick on so good I've even gone swimming with them before I don't think you're meant to go swimming with them but they've been really great underneath my white bikinis they're awesome um, I'll find out what they're called and I'll put them down in the description play suit seriously my favorite thing in the entire world the jacket that I actually teamed with the skirt and stuff is from Fashion Nova but I've had it for like two or three years now so I'm not going to put that down there because they definitely don't have that anymore. But white blazers in stock which you can put with other outfits in there. I think a white blazer is a really cool statement piece to have in your wardrobe. Ribbed green dress. It's really long. Um, sometimes I decide to actually tie it up on the bottom and team it with sneakers. I feel like you could wear it with uh, wedges, with actual heels as well. I like to dress it down with this denim jacket. Like I probably could have, again, gone for a small in this. This one is a medium and as you can see it fits me really well everywhere but around my waist it is a little bit big. So I think I might, because it's nice stretchy material, I think I might actually reorder it in a size small because I feel like this is going to be one of those dresses which I just wear the absolute hell out of. Okay, next dress, you guys, if you've been on Fashion Nova, would have 100% seen this. This is like the OG Kylie Jenner dress. It makes you look so good. Like, the shape is amazing, and it's actually quite thick and has really nice, comfortable lining in the inside. Now, I have worn this to about three different buffet dinners and it just holds everything in. Like the shape of it is just so good. I've lent it to so many friends. Originally I bought the white one, and then I bought the grey one, and then I bought the black one. Now the black one I've only had for a week and yeah. I, I haven't really taken it off. A good all rounder dress and the black one is definitely my favourite. Now, dressing it up a little bit, as you can see, I have different kind of casual dresses going out stuff. I've got a good little array of different items here for post-op. And this, I wasn't really sure on because it's not really something that I would typically wear. So this is the Better Now dress in size medium. Now, quickly, if I haven't said what they are, I'm going to find out what they are because my cat steals the tags of fucking everything. I wasn't that sure on this one because... The patterning isn't very me. Like it's not, it's definitely not something I would tend to wear, but a girl I follow had it on and I was like, oh my God, it looks so good. I get a little bit itchy from the velvet, but my skin is super sensitive at the moment, obviously. As I said, like I'm only three weeks post-op. So I think that is just me. Yeah, it's not scratchy or anything. It's really soft, so it probably is just me. I'll say about it is it might be a little bit too short depending on how tall you are. Uh, just bear in mind I am five foot nine, so I do have quite a short torso and quite long legs. So I feel like 
if you had normal length legs then I think you would be fine but the new dresses are quite short on me that's why I always tend to opt for midi dresses instead also you get to cover up the cellulite in your thighs so it's a win. These are the little glasses that I have been teaming with the outfits these aren't new I've had these for probably like four or five months but I feel like they go with, the, like the tortoise show and stuff goes with a lot of outfits. And those are my top favorite outfits that I've been wearing post-op. They're all super stretchy, all super comfortable. If you guys enjoyed this video. I'm really keen to do a swimwear try-on haul for you guys before we go to Bora Bora because, um, like, I have to tell you, I have ordered so many bikinis. It is absolutely out of hand. I have, like, a big plastic container in our garage that's just full with like swimwear and swimwear cover-ups and stuff. Just gonna be sitting around drinking and taking photos most of the time and swimming so you know I wanted some really cute pieces. I don't think I needed to get quite as many as I got because we are only there for seven days but I mean three bikinis a day? Don't hate me. I mean they get wet and you have to change them right? But thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next swimwear haul. Uh, why I haven't done it yet is because I am still bruised. Like, I'm sorry. I haven't really been showing you guys what my overall body and stuff looks like here out of clothes. But I just don't want to scare you because I am still a little bit bruised. Check in with you guys before we head off to Bora Bora and do a really cool swimwear haul for you. So hopefully I'll see you guys then. Bye.